Let's bring in Kenny Smith from TNT. Got a doubleheader coming up tonight, including those uh, Knicks against the Miami Heat, Oklahoma City against the Lakers. Let me start with a poll question, Jet. Who do you want endorsing yeah. your product, Jeremy Lin or Tim Tebow? Wow. Uh, you, you can't go wrong right now with either one of them, but I, I would say that uh, Jeremy Lin has an uh, opportunity to be an all-star eventually, possibly. He, he has an opportunity for that. Tim Tebow, from what I hear and what I see, may not be a consistent pro bowler. Okay. But so, if, if you're just looking at talent levels, one thing, but endorsing a product, a uh, global... Endorsing a product, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think the, the, the Yao Ming has proved that, you know, by even playing with Yao Ming, there's guys who, who made the All-Star game <laughs> because the fan vote. Yeah. So I, I think that uh, you might want to go with Jeremy Lin. Best team in the NBA right now is who? Miami Heat. Even though the Bulls, Bulls have more wins, Oklahoma City the same record with the Heat, but you have the Heat by far the best team? Uh, I, I, not, not by far. I, I just think that they're, they're at all, all cylinders right now. And this is, we're, we're seeing what we thought we'd see last year, you know, right now. This is what we thought was going to happen before the, the prediction of LeBron with the five and six, seven championships. But this is a style of basketball that I thought they'd be playing, and they're playing it right now. Knicks go into Miami, and, and I like how Miami, they're tired of hearing about Linsanity and the Knicks. And last year, all we heard about was the Heat because they were self-promoters. I found it kind of ironic that now they're tired of hearing about Jeremy Lin. And, hey, come on in. We're going to – I think Dwayne Wade said, we'll pick him up at the airport. That's how excited we are to see the Knicks. What do you make of this game tonight? <laughs> I mean, isn't that great that the Knicks are relevant? You know, I, I think overall, you know, that if you're a, if you're a basketball player, you know, and, and Jeremy Lin, if he's going to be a good player, and the Knicks are going to be a good team, and when you say we'll pick him up at the airport, you know what you say? You know what? Don't have to worry. I'm taking a private jet. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss it. You know, I, I, you have to have that kind of attitude. So I just love in a regular season game before All Star break that you can have this type of drama and this type of anticipation for a regular season game. You know what Walt Frazier said? Here's a Hall of Famer who does the Knicks games, Kenny. He said he finally signed off on Lynn being a good point guard after the Dallas game. That's how long it took because he said of how the Mavericks defended him with a variety of sizes, bodies. Yeah, well, I, w I was sold about maybe two games earlier uh, only because, you know, the Knicks run a steady diet of pick and rolls. And it's not like they're going to change that up. And the guy is really good at getting to the rim off the pick and roll. And he takes the contact and he scores. So unless D'Antoni doesn't run any more pick and rolls, I would have been not so, but he's going to run pick and rolls and going to have him in the mix. So offensively, he's going to be consistent in what he's doing for the rest of the season. Uh, Lakers, Oklahoma City, second half of your double dip tonight. Let me start with the Lakers and what Kobe said publicly. Magic Johnson praised Kobe saying, hey, proud of you. You stood up for Pau Gasol. Where do you stand on Kobe's comments that he made publicly? I'm not surprised. You know, if, if this was Kobe's second year in the league, I, I don't think he makes that statement. But, you know, we're in double digits in terms of, uh, you know, his years in the league. And he, he realizes his window is only two or three. So it was just as much for Paul Gasol as it was for him, saying, I don't have three years to figure out what, what we're going to do. I don't have a season to waste. You know, I had two, three real, really good years left where I could dominate and, and really help us be a contender. So that's what that was for. You know, this is a guy on his last last hurrah tour. You know, he got two, three years left, and he's like, I can't play around, and y'all gonna figure it out. What are we gonna do? Because it, it, either this guy's gotta be here, and he's gonna get his mind right, so I can still help this team be a contender, or not. So. Second year in the league, Kobe would not have said that. This year, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, but I think it's a little self-serving because if you could get Rondo for Pau Gasol, Kobe's driving Pau. He'll drive him to Boston to pick up Rondo. So it's not that he's backing up Pau Gasol. He's saying, all right, I'm going to say this, but I really what I'm saying is, guys, are you going to make a deal that can help me win another championship? Well, I think it's either way. It's self-serving in, in both senses, meaning if he's going to be here – let me help to get this guy mentally ready. And if he's not going to be here, 
Let me get the guy in here now. But, Let's Kenny, you can't say that if you're Mitch Kupchak. Hey, I'm not going to trade him because he's trying to trade him. <laughs> well, what would well, be I worse think- if you said you weren't going to trade him and then you traded him? I think Mitch Kupchak did it the right way. I think, you know, you always explore options. And and I, and, and, and the most general managers would say, because my phone ring doesn't mean I, I answer it. And because it rings, sometimes I do answer it. That's it. I, you know, I, I don't always seek everything. My phone rings because I have a bunch of good players on my team that people want. And, you know, being traded is because a lot of people want you as well. So, of course, I'm going to answer my phone. That's it. That's my job. I'm the general manager to answer the phone. And then you have Oklahoma City. Once again, yeah, you know, in the middle of America and, you know, not involved in a conversation. You you have Durant, who's playing at a very, very high level now. Westbrook, I think, has decided that he is going to be a scoring point guard. And, you know, where does Oklahoma City fit in all of this? Are they the best team in the West? They're the best team in the West. And I think they they separated themselves. The only problem you do, you, the issue that could arise with them is they still haven't been battle tested together. But one year, yep. you know, last year was the first year that they were really battle tested, and a lot of times it takes two to three years to kind of get over that hump, unless you have something extraordinary happen. But you know, to me, throughout the regular season, they're going to be the best team, uh, and they have shown that they're the best team in the West. But the only thing that worries is when there's criticism on Westbrook, when there's criticism on Durant, will they kind of dismantle and fall apart a little bit like they did in the playoffs last year? Or will they say, no, we're going to pull it together this time. Instead of falling apart, we're going to actually get closer and play better. Have you guys brought up the uh, Shaq-Jalen Rose uh, Twitter attack here? That Jalen Rose and Shaq just don't get along. What, what is going on with these two? You know, I, I don't know if Shaq blocked Jalen's jumper or Jalen <laughs> had a, you know, a, a nice move. You know, I'm, I'm I'm not sure where it comes from. You know, the Twitter the Twitter game for me is is very light. I don't I don't get into the Twitter battles. I, I, I'm I'm a I'm a tell you in your face kind of guy. <laughs> so I'm not really a Twitter guy. I think it, you you can say things and have a, a be in insecurity, and you could be in you could be on a beach in Hawaii saying things. I usually say things. I call you up. But how hey. would it go if Shaq <laughs> and Jalen Rose are in the same room? I w- it wouldn't go well for Jalen. <laughs> I don't think it'd go well for Jalen. You know, it's just, it's just simple, simple math, simple dynamics. <laughs> it's just really, you know, 250 does not equal 200. <laughs> I think it's 350 doesn't, doesn't equal. Right, 350 does not equal 200. That's all I'm saying. It's good to visit with you. Have fun tonight. We'll be watching. Thank you, Jet. All right, Kenny Smith, NBA on TNT, doubleheader tonight. Pretty good stuff. Knicks Heat, then Oklahoma City against the Lakers.